Wilma, you learned how to drive a tractor? Huh? Betty's trying to catch a chicken. What are you doing? Girls have been locked up inside because of the rain all day. So they've been in the screen porch and now they're getting to run because it stopped for a little bit. The rain will be picking back up in a little while. So get them out here and running off that energy as much as we can. They said, we like playing. So we've got some additional tips from some people in the black walnut syrup group. And we are going on the ridge of the bark instead of the valley like we did on the other tap. This tap has not been producing anything even though the temperatures have been right for it. So we went two inches in because we also learned about how going a little bit deeper in on the black walnut is a little better than the one and a half inch that's recommended for walnut. We like to put the tube on before we tap it in just because it makes it easier to tap it in and because I didn't bring a cup of hot water out with me, I'm gonna do the other tip that I saw recommended. Chew on the end of it to soften it up. Doesn't matter about my germs because all of this is gonna get cooked down. Oh, is it starting to, you wanna look? It's getting wet. Can you see it? The sap's starting to come out. So that makes me feel better about this tap. Like we did get the proper layer that we needed to. And then you're just gonna tap, tap, tap. It really isn't that much that you tap it in. You don't want it to seat all the way at the back of the hole and clog the end of your spile. Your spile shouldn't be touching the back of your hole. So. There. That last one, did you hear how it was slightly different tone to it? That, that means that it's just sitting in there just right. Where it starts to taper off in the spile, you want that sap that could be coming along the side of that tapering to go in to the hole and come down into your bucket. So I'm learning some lessons along the way. One of them is to be really careful about rain events. So when I came out here to check it right after we had rain, this lid was full of water, including the grommet area. So I know rainwater had to have gotten in there. So I am pouring off this because I'm pretty sure that's probably half rainwater and not all sap. So I'm going to pour it off into a separate container so that I can boil it a lot longer. Whoops. That just blew out. Uh, and that way I'll know to expect this to take longer to boil down. It doesn't hurt anything. It just takes longer because it's more water to evaporate out. So the, uh, so the thing that I did learn is that if I tilt it like this, even if it rains, we're not going to be getting rainwater pooling on the lid. So that's how I left it for the, the rest of it. As you can see, sap suckers have been at this tree since the last time we were out here. And yet, we're not having much luck, but they are. Wow! Oh heck, why not? Nice big tulip poplar. My friend Robert at Daybird Aviary stared me to tap a tulip poplar. It is doable. And there are some sap sucker holes on the side of this tree indicating that there is some sap flow. So it's facing a nice sunny south position right at the edge of the tree line. So it is getting a good sunlight. I just have to be careful. I've got this wild blueberry bush right in front of it. I don't want to damage it in case we get blueberries from it. You can tell it's a because of the green bark. 
So pretty soon it'll have buds coming out with flowers. I don't know if you guys can see our pigs are over there in their pan looking at us like, what are you doing? And then the cow is over there doing the same. Hi. We're just back here behind the pig area trying to get this done with our helper. You make everything harder, Odin. But I love you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got your fingers stuck in there. Hmm. Ryan just drilled into this black walnut and it was gushing. Man, it was just gushing and dripping down. So hopefully we got a good one here. Gonna put something on that and catch all that. That's what you want to see when you drill a hole. You know the set flow is perfect right now. Tube is already filling up. We're having to hold the tube up because there's so much sap coming out. So note to self, you can have this already attached before you drill the hole. And now the fun part. And then... Bloop, 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 bloop,
because you do not want a bottle baby to get sick, malnourished, or dehydrated. <gasps> Is it bottle time? <laughs> they know. They know who brings the milk. <laughs> All right, girls. Come on. Switch. <laughs> Oh, good girls. They definitely eat for daddy. <laughs> so, sometimes when you're trying something new, like tapping trees in Georgia for the first time, you learn that you might have to do things that break the rules a little bit. So I boiled off the maple sap that had gotten uh, quite a good bit of rainwater in it, uh, to my understanding. And I've cooked it down to just this little bit and it's not syrup yet, but it's enough that I can put it in the fridge and save it for the next cooking down. But the rule breaking part was I did it in the house and it really steamed things up in here. So I definitely need to get a system set up for our outdoor cooking of sap before we have to do a lot more than just this. <laughs> and really excited because the two new walnut trees that we tapped today both are giving a huge amount of sap in one day's time already so tomorrow i'm going to pour that off and see what we get tomorrow and it looks like the forecast for the rest of the week is going to be exactly where we need it to be to have the best sap flow i'm so excited about this new journey <laughs> In the morning, I discovered that one of our jugs had already filled from the newly tapped black walnut tree. Well, that'll have to hold for now. I'm going to see if I can find some of our other containers to catch the syrup in, the sap. Wow. <laughs> this one's full too. So I'm going to take this and put it on this empty one. And then I'm just going to carry this very carefully. I do have another cap up at the house. So I'm going to have to carry it carefully. I might have to sip some of it off just so that it doesn't spill. Not too sweet, but a nice, nice flavor. And it's already dripping, so I better hurry up and put the other one on.